Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. In the last part, we got beat the first dungeon and got the Earth Element as seen right there. And this part we're going to be continuing on and see what we can do across the world. Hello old man. So you found the Earth Element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. Why thank you sir. If your convention holds strong, head to Mount Grenell. There you'll find a, ma a man named Malari. Among all minutes, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, he'll surely reforge the broken Pakori blade. I'll sh I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Leave through this door here. It'll take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder, we are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Cradle at once. Every time that Ezlo voice is probably completely, completely different. I shall learn it eventually. Now anyway, back here in Minish Woods, there's one thing you want to do before getting back to normal size, and that's going in here. Green clouds? In a mystical hat. Sir, would you be by chance be Link? The one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. You've heard I have heard so many tales about you. I've been back gone for five minutes. How far could tales travel? I am Balari, researcher of antiquities. And I'm also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. We got explosives! And it has ten bombs in it! Now we can blow up lots of stuff. Yeah, now we just have basic stuff that removes obstacles. Surprisingly useful at that. <laughs> what the? Well, this is an odd thing, isn't it? Hold of the sacred powers. We grant you the power of wind! Hmm? Whoa, it blew up? Hey kid, look where that stone used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course, why? That must be... Well, I have the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. Well, that's kind of odd. You usually have so much knowledge, but you're being useless. Not really. I actually love Ezlo. Anyway, these are the things we need the bombs for. If you didn't have bombs, you wouldn't be able to get past here at all. But anyway, with that, we're back in... Well, technically it's Eastern Hills, but it's pretty much Hyrule Field. Although, if I recall correctly, technically Hyrule Field is the on only the area directly surrounding the town. Hmm. Anyway, you want to blow this up. Because in here, you got a chest that has... Well, first off, there's goddamn bats all over the place. These are keys, by the way. You have 20 more mysterious shells. Got a lot of grass, by the way. And you're gonna want 100 rubies coming up, so I'm just telling you that now. I would usually grind in the area directly to the left or fight these guys a lot because they are oh so good for money grinding. And you can also at this point, after you get bombs, they'll start they'll start being eh, they'll stop being they'll start being dropped by enemies randomly. You'll usually get them in groups of five. Which isn't that bad honestly because that's a half of our inventory that we can have of bombs at this point. And now we're in South Hyrule Field, which if you were paying attention might look kind of familiar, because that's our house in the top bottom left corner. But first off, you have another one of these things. Hold of the sacred powers, we've got you the power of the wind. Explosion! Hey, that stone up below crumbled. There's another of those marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. What could they be for? It's not like I already know. By the way, that little hole that were right where the B button was just a minute ago, you can actually fall into that. <laughs> and another random tree with vines on it. Odd. Anyway, let's go back into our house. So this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So where's my room? 
Well, we all kind of share a room in this house, so... So, this is your room. That makes it my room, too, right? Hey, aren't you tired? Do you want to take a rest? And doing that, actually, these beds will... There's, I think this is the only bed you can do this with, actually, in the game. If there, No, I think there's two beds you can do this with. And doing that... Well, it acts as a full health restore. It's pretty much an in out of uh, another RPG. It's surprisingly useful if you're in the area and you're low on health. Which won't happen that often, but... Eh, if you're here, you might as well use it. Hello, Grandfather. Oh, welcome back, Link. My, but you're looking so much stronger. If you get tired, just go ahead and take a nap upstairs in your room. I'm busy making swords for the guards to keep the monsters at bay. I wish I could do mo more, but for now, we need you to save Princess Zelda. Anyway, it's at this point that I grind around this area for 100 rupees, because I need that coming up here. So with that, let's head back up into Hyrule Town. Oh wait, but first, uh... Come over here and bomb this wall for a little special thing. And in doing that, you find the game's first fairy fountain. Fairies restore, I believe, eight hearts? I don't remember. Ah, Hyrule Town's good to be back. What the... Come on, come on! See how many kinstar pieces you can collect! You never know what fusion can stones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kid stone bag for holding your kid stone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kid stone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. We got a kid stone bag. You can now carry kid stone pieces with you. Press start to view its contents from your quest status screen. Fitting two Kinstone pieces together is called Kinstone Fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come to your way. I'll put a Kinstone piece in your Kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse Kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Use the D-pad to choose a kinstone piece, and press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all that? Yes. Then stand in front of me and press L, so we can fuse kinstones. And it's at this point that you might notice... Remember how I said I was probably going to use a game shark color or two in this? This is one of them. Kinstone pieces randomly... Well, their effect isn't random, their effect is set, although sometimes the piece that you have to fuse with is random. Uh, you... Nine times out of ten, while you might find kinstone pieces in treasure chests, they'll actually appear as, like, random drops from grass or bushes you destroy. Even rocks, later on. And grinding those can take far too long. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya. So what I did for this Let's Play is that I used a code breaker code to make sure I actually had 99 of every kinstone piece at all times so I don't have to go out of my way for grinding, because this is a 100% run. Well, technically speaking, in the main game, it's uh, not so 100%. But with that, we got the fifth heart piece. Three more, we got our sixth heart container. I don't know if that'll actually be happening until after the bus, or the next dungeon, though. Mm. Anyway, the first thing we actually want to do in the town itself is over here. Don't place a bomb on the guy! That was a complete accident on my part, actually. And he's completely unscathed. What a badass. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Please. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha, very good. You are a very quick student. 
But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as so as to demonstrate the technique. I call this the swift slide switcheroo technique of training. Watch this. Switcheroo. That's, a, uh, that's actually technically not what's really in the American Game Boy Advance version. It's actually possession. But uh, I don't know why my ROM has a different... Maybe I'm using a European ROM for all I know. Hmm. But now we have the basic spin attack that we have in every other game from the start, but we have to learn it in this one for some reason. But for doing that, which is required by the way, this is the only of one of Swift Blaze techniques that's required. We got the first Tiger Scroll. There's eight of these in the game, and uh, yeah, you're gonna want to learn as many of these as, they can as you can, because they get awesome later in the game. Anyway, the next thing we want to do here in Hyrule Town is actually in this red building right here, which is the basic general store. And for 80 rupees, we can buy this, which will actually triple our maximum capacity. Now we can carry 300 rupees. Which, if you're going for 100%, is essential because some things get expensive. And I mean expensive. Anyway, you're gonna want to clean that off with the uh, the place where we got our shield from, actually, with your gust jar, because that's required for later in the game. And we have seal number three, and the text is the exact same as it was last time. From now on, the text will always be the same, so no more reading it, yay! Anyway, that's all we really want to do here in town. Talking to this guy before getting the spin attack, by the way, you, he says that you need to at least make sure you have the basic techniques. So if you don't have the spin attack, you cannot progress in the game. If I recall, this is actually the only one that's required to beat the game, though. Anyway, let's head into the Trilby Highlands. And these guys are ketons, by the way. They'll charge at you and try to knock some stuff off you, but they're no big threat. Anyway, come down here and bomb this wall for a special little surprise. And weird little panels to the left of us. Hmm. Anyway, we've got another DQ scrub. Equip your shield and take it out the same way you did back in the start of the game. And for this, from this guy, we can actually buy our first empty bottle for 20 rupees. I don't know why you wouldn't take that, but yeah. And empty bottles, you can store all sorts of stuff. Fairies, uh, other things that I can't remember at the moment. Water, I know for a fact. And they are rather useful. I think there's one required in the entire game. Yeah, I think it's that one too. <laughs> and, oh, that poor Octorok. And welcome to Mount Colonel's Base, another song I absolutely love. But with that, I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, we're going to be going through Mount Crenel and see what we can do here. See you guys then.